Hello, and welcome to the unboxing of Yakuza Graveyard. I thought I'd do a bit of a commentary on the unboxing, give you a bit of info on the release, why we made the decisions that we did, how we put it together, a bit of behind the scenes info. So hopefully it'll be interesting. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to hear more of this kind of thing. So Yakuza Graveyard is a release that we had as part of our launch. Uh, the last minute we decided to put Big Time Gambling Boss forward first. As that's sort of more representative of our aim to uh, shine a light on less known classics. So this is why this one, number two, is just coming out now. Uh, starting off with the front, we've got the artwork by Time Tomorrow. I think you'll agree, as with a lot of our releases, he's really knocked it out of the parks. Beautiful piece. Tetsuya Watari, I see it without the obi. Put that aside. That's a lovely piece. The half red theme running through to the back. Some images on the back of Mayuko Kaji. I'll come back to her and the extras. Inside we've got a booklet. The release booklet and disc were produced by Tom Mez. A lot of people recognise his name, an expert in the genres, done lots of commentaries and written books on Fukusaku and Meiko Kaji. So obviously this was a marriage made in heaven for him. Though obviously he's an expert in numerous Japanese films, eras, styles and beyond. The booklet has got new writing by Mika Ko, who uh, has written a piece on Zainichi Koreans in Japanese Yakuza films. This was something that was sort of quite prevalent at the time, the 60s and the 70s and beyond, I'm sure, um, the treatment and depiction of Koreans in Japanese films. This is a really interesting piece that I think is especially Western as a real insight into, into what was going on and their feelings. And we've got an archival piece by Kazuo Kasahara, the screenwriter, which has been newly translated for the release. Really nice to hear from him, obviously, these kinds of writings are pretty rare, so it's a real treat to be able to get to see those uh, in releases like this. And then likewise, another archival piece from Masao Matsuda, uh, some writing from the time of release, which is really interesting to see how it was perceived at that time. And then in the usual Radiant style, you've got you know, the usual kind of layout that we've got here, prioritising text over imagery. And hopefully... That's all good. And as ever, fit your OB strip inside, behind, wherever you like. Let's have a look at the reverse sleeve. Here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, the original poster. We had a bit of a debate as to whether or not we should change this colour. This colour here, just taken from the original poster, it didn't quite feel like a great match we tried a few options did a sort of gray option tried some other things and nothing felt particularly great so we put it to a poll as uh, so we had a few that we liked and in the end the original one out seeing it in print i think it has come out really well just sometimes the digital can be a bit misleading and then the extras on disc so we've got a piece with kazuo uh, kazuya shiraishi a director of uh, more modern yakuza film so having an appreciation by him as a, as a director of Yakuza films, speaking about the impact of a film like Yakuza Graveyard, um, how it's perceived by another filmmaker. It's really interesting. And he's a knowledgeable um, film buff, like, you know, a lot of critics as well. So what he says is really interesting. Um, then we've got a video, a visual essay by Tom Mez on the collaborations between Meiko Kaji and Kinji Fukasaku. Really interesting to cover their three films they made together by Tom. Um, we did try and get Mako Kaji for a um, extra on the release, tried for a few months, we spoke with their management. Unfortunately, just timing, various things, just it couldn't happen, um, which is a great shame, obviously. It would have been great to have her on the release, but these things do happen, unfortunately. Um, it's more common than you'd think. We've got a gallery of imagery supplied by Toei, which is uh, really nice. Good quality images there. Always nice to see those on screen. An Easter egg as well. See if you can find that. A trailer, um, newly improved subtitles. Um, something Subtitles are something we take really seriously because you, know, you can often find these films in various places or 
old discs and so on and um you know you can always tell and it does ruin the experience when these things aren't up to scratch and um with this film actually we made a, a really key change uh towards the end of the film i won't spoil it for those who haven't seen it but there is something that wasn't correct in previous subtitles it's nice when you're able to co correct these things and improve them for um for everyone to enjoy and that is the release and there it is side by side with the other one so it's available to order now hope you enjoy it thanks very much <laughs>